channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Jana. So as you can already tell from the intro, we're going to do some hot glue gun hacks and DIYs. And I thought it was only appropriate for me to do this video because according to my subscribers, I am the hot glue gun queen. That's what they call me, the hot glue gun queen. If you've been following me for a long time, you would understand. It's kind of like an inside joke. So if you don't understand why they call me the hot glue gun queen, it's because I made this Halloween video back in the day and I made a lot of really crazy weird Halloween like hot glue gun projects so ever since then I've been known as the hot glue gun queen and I have to say that I'm proud of it okay so yeah the hot glue ooh, ooh. so the hot glue gun queen is back it's making a comeback and I'm here to make some more hot glue gun hacks and DIYs and um, I'm so excited so yeah I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who requested this video thank you so much make sure to keep leaving your video requests below so I know whether to do like a part two or something like that and also guys if you enjoyed watching this video I would really appreciate if you leave a thumbs up and also guys one last thing I have an Instagram and you're probably not following me you should go on ahead and follow me because if you follow my Instagram and you comment on my latest photo I will spin your account just make sure that your profile is not on private and I will go on ahead and do that so yeah guys I think it's about that time here are some glue gun hacks and some DIYs that you guys will enjoy let's go all right guys so first glue gun DIY is a super cute do-it-yourself bowl so easy and quick to do so I use a small size bowl but you can go up in size if you want to make a bigger one before you start, make sure to cover the bowl with Vaseline so that the glue doesn't stick and then simply start squeezing the glue and make a cool pattern for your DIY bowl. I did kind of like a crisscross pattern and just freestyled it so feel free to get as creative as you want here. Just make sure to cover the whole bowl. So when you're done, gently push the glue off from the top of the bowl and push it out from the bottom and then you are left with this really cool clear bowl and if you want, you can even give your bowl a pop of color with some nail polish. Just brush it on the inside and the outside of the bowl to really make it pop and that's it. You can use it to put your stuff in like your pocket change, your hair clips, nail polish or even jewelry. Pretty much anything you guys, it's amazing. So next hack is a way to safely store your razor in your bag. So when I'm traveling, it's so annoying how I always get cut when I reach inside my bag for the razor, which could potentially be dangerous as well. So I'm going to show you how to prevent this. Simply apply hot glue onto the razor blades and make sure that you cover all the metal parts because that's the part you don't want to touch when reaching into your bag. So give it a second to dry and now it's completely safe to store. The glue dries up and it acts like a gummy case for the razor. And the best part is that when you're ready to use your razor, the gummy cap peels right off, leaving your razor super clean and ready to use. So next hack is a way to easily open those really stubborn tight jars, which we've all been there. So a really useful trick is to just apply some hot glue around the edge of the lid. What this does is that the glue gives you a good grip, making it way easier to open. And you can always peel it off when you're done. And you could do the same for those hard to open nail polish bottles. Just put a ring of hot glue around the top and it'll be way easier to open. So next DIY is a way to make your very own print artwork. You can freestyle or Google your image. Just slide the template under the glass and cover the glass with Vaseline. Next, squeeze the glue onto the glass. So the size of the print or the template will determine how long it will take. Just remember to be patient in art is all about having fun. So when you're done, just peel the glue off from the glass and you will be left with a reusable template. Just lay it on top of a poster board, a t-shirt, or whatever you want your canvas to be. And then spray some acrylic paint and water mixture. You can use any color and mix up the techniques if you want to create a different effect. So yeah, after you're done with decorating, just take the template off and that's it. Just give it some time to dry and your cute poster or t-shirt is ready to go. next hack, I'm going to show you guys how to give your hair clips a better grip to help your hairstyle stay in place. Just squeeze some hot glue onto the inside of the hair clip and just make sure not to put it near the metal part. Give it a second to dry and it's ready to use. This will help your hair clip grab onto your hair better so that your hair stays in place all day long. So next hot glue DIY is how to make your very own cute crayon candles which looks so cool. 
Just pick any color crayon you want and take the wrapping off of the crayon before putting it into the hot glue. And by the way, even though it won't break it, I don't recommend doing this with an expensive or favorite hot glue gun. Just don't do it. So just putting that out there. <laughs> so I just squeezed some crayons onto the edge of the candle to get that drip effect, but feel free to add as many colors as you want and design your candle any way that you want. This part is super fun, so just go with the flow and get creative here. So when you're done, you'll notice that it's completely dry because the wax almost instantly dries up, therefore there's no waiting time. So yeah guys, definitely try it out. It's a really cute and fun DIY for your room. Alright guys, so next hack, use a hot glue gun to create no slip clothes hangers to give them an extra grip. Just squeeze some hot glue onto both top sides of the hanger and once it dries, the glue will create a rubbery grip so that your clothes don't fall off. So no need to buy those expensive no slip hangers, you could just make them yourself. So next DIY is how to make your very own coasters. This one has to be one of my favorite DIYs like ever in the history of ever because it's so convenient. So you can freestyle or search for coaster designs on Google Images. Just slide the template under the glass and cover the glass with Vaseline or oil. Squeeze glue onto the glass and follow your template. Definitely take your time with this one because you want to go slow so your coaster design comes out clean and not too gloppy or thin. But remember this is all about having fun. Now this step is optional. I wanted a little more spunk so I added globs of glue to the outside of the coaster and added rhinestones on top. You can make your coasters however you want to suit your unique style so again this is optional. Next just peel off the coaster from the glass and if you want you can paint the back part of the coasters with some nail polish to give it a pop of color. By the way a really genius idea would be to paint it with glue in the dark polish because it will make it easier for you to find your glass of water when you're thirsty in the middle of the night genius. So yeah guys, really easy and fun way to make completely free cup coasters. Alright, so next hack. Use your hot glue gun to make slippers into non-slip shoes. Just squeeze the hot glue onto the bottom of the slippers. I just made wavy lines, but you can make zigzags or dots just as long as you cover the bottom of the slipper from top to bottom and left to right. Now your slippers will have grip and they won't be so slippery. And lastly, here's a cool glue gun DIY. How to make your very own glow in the dark stars. Just place the template under the glass and of course rub some oil or Vaseline on top to keep the glue from sticking. For this DIY, you will need glow in the dark glue sticks which I found at Walmart for two bucks. Just follow the template or freestyle it. You can literally make any shape you'd like. So once you're done making your shapes, peel away and that's it. Your very own DIY glow in the dark stars. Super easy to do and really cool for room decor. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also I have a playlist right here full of more really fun hack videos you guys will for sure enjoy. So feel free to watch those. Alrighty guys, alrighty then. So yeah guys, that was all for today, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know which hack was your favorite hack or which hack do you see yourself using the most. A hack that I see myself using is the hot glue on the razor because let me tell you that I've cut myself a lot of times doing exactly that so that will prevent it. So let me know which hack do you see yourself using. So yeah guys, here are the top three commentators for my last video because if you don't know, I always give a shout out to my top three. I always give a shout out to my top three favorite comments for my last video. So thank you guys so much for leaving your beautiful comments make sure to leave your comments your video suggestions your video requests below because I will possibly shout you out in my next video so yeah guys again that's all for today unfortunately and I will see you in my next video bye guys